five things England fans may have missed in Poland draw including Kane's record. Damian Szymanski scored a last gasp leveler to earn Poland a 1-1 draw after Harry Kane had given England the lead in their World Cup qualifier and World Cup. Gareth Southgate's side stay four points clear at the top of Group I but have lost their 100% record as they bid to reach the 2022 tournament in Qatar. The three Lions faced tough opposition in Warsaw and tempers frayed at the end of the first half when players from both sides were involved in a melee. Robert Lewandowski had missed Poland's best chance of the half with his shot held by England keeper Jordan Pickford. Kane finally broke the deadlock in the second period as he turned and fired a long-range rocket past Wojciech Szczesny, but Lewandowski had the last laugh as he sent in a cross for sub Szymanski to power home at the death. Here, Daily Star Sport looks at five things you may have missed, England's players took the knee amid whistling and jeering in a hostile atmosphere in Warsaw. Before kickoff, former Arsenal keeper Wojciech Szczesny had appealed to the crowd to respect the England anthem and initial booing was soon replaced by applause. But the boos returned when Southgate's men performed their customary gesture against discrimination. Poland players opted to stay on their feet, but Robert Lewandowski backed up England's message by pointing to the Respect logo on his shirt. Camel Glick and Harry Maguire were booked after the halftime whistle for their involvement in a melee at the end of the opening period. But he got it with Grealish early on in the match after the Man City man tried to stretch Poland's defence. Jack Grealish hit the deck after a challenge from Glick as he tried to hold up play on the byline, having switched from the left wing to the opposite flank. Referee Daniel Siebert was not impressed and there was a bit of afters as Glick bowled at Grealish, accusing him of diving, with the £100 million man dishing out some verbals in response. On the stroke of halftime, Glick was again seen getting involved, appearing to pinch Kyle Walker around the chin as England prepared to defend a set piece. That sparked handbags between the two sets of players after the half was brought to a close, with even Kieran Trippier running onto the pitch to try and calm down his team mates. When the players eventually started heading to the tunnel, the referee had to call Glick back to give both the Poland defender and Maguire yellow cards. Calvin Phillips was left to walk a disciplinary tightrope after landing himself in the book early on. But it actually was a nice bit of techers that it inadvertently led to the Leeds midfielder being given a yellow card. Phillips skillfully span on the ball to get away from the attentions of Timotis Pucic, but unwittingly caught his opponent on the top of the boot. Jordan Pickford won his 40th cap for England and marked it by denying Lewandowski when the time inevitably came. The Bayern Munich striker spurned Poland's best chance of the first half when, after out-muscling Phillips, he tried to lift the ball over England's keeper. But Pickford was alive to the danger and caught Lewandowski's shot above his head, keeping his side level. Unfortunately he was beaten at the end by Szymanski's equaliser, although the goal didn't do too much damage to England's qualification hopes. Pickford moved up to ninth on England's list of most capped keepers, one behind Paul Robinson. After Poland put up some tough opposition, Harry Kane finally broke the deadlock with his 41st goal for England. A minute after Lewandowski fired straight at Pickford, Kane showed how it should be done as he received the ball 30 yards out, turned and